Hello students, welcome to the lecture on communication technology and network and after this lecture we will be able to learn the following objectives. Discuss about communication technology, understand the telecommunication, explain about networking, describe the basic components of a network, discuss the hardware and software used for networking, understand the network topologies and understand about communication network in an organization. First of all, let me explain what is communication technology and network. As we all know, the first device for communication had been invented by Alexander Graham Bell in 1876. Starting from this, scientists have struggled to improve the ability of communication for large distance with the help of networking technology that appeared in 1969. The development in network and communication technology is still undergoing a rapid development by the introduction to the mobile commuting in the 1990s and new development are continually expanding its role in modern communication. Mobile computing is defined as a generic term describing your ability to use technology unethered that is not physically connected or in remote or mobile non-static environment. The term has evolved in modern usage such that it requires that the mobile computing activity be connected wirelessly to and fro, repeat, to and through the internet or to and through a private network. This connection ties the mobile device to centrally located information and or application software through the use of battery powered, portable and wireless computing and communication devices. Let's discuss about communication technology. Over the years, communication and technology have evolved at a rapid pace and they seem to evolve consistently together. Many years ago, people were using fire and smoke as a means to communicate over long distances. The advance of the telephone made international communication possible. And today, telephones have been miniaturized into cellular phones with a host of features and gadgets, some in aid of communication, while others serve purposes completely alien to interpersonal communication. The business world has been incredible productive advancement due to communication and technology. Conference communication technology has made meeting clients and service providers a productive and efficient experience which can take as little as 30 minutes while in the past it meant businesses had to send representatives across great distances to lie say with each other costing them a great deal of time and money. It's the cataracts.
computer based treatment system consists of a regular desktop or laptop computer equipped with specialized software programs. Programs are designed to help with auditory comprehension, reading, writing comprehension, word finding, cognitive skills such as attention, memory and problem solving. Augmentative and alternative communication system can enhance the speech and writing of people with significant speech and language difficulties. If we are interested in using computers to help we write and talk, a wide variety of alternative communication options exist. Video output devices in many shapes and sizes, word prediction software that guesses what we are trying to type, programs that read the type on the screen out loud. Communication plays a very important role in an organization. Departments communicate from time to time in respect to daily activities and the organization relationship with the external world. It says what it intended via written and unwritten means, either planned or impromptu. It could be hierarchical, that is, from top to bottom or vice versa. It could be formal or informal, vertical, horizontal or diagonal. Whichever means modes or types of communication, what matters is that communication takes place. However, what is being communicated may be well understood and thus feedback or misunderstood or insufficient and thus communication breakdown. In fact, communication within an organization could be grapevine or humor. In all, communication in an organization is very complex and it needs to be correctly handled and monitored to avoid chaos, crisis or conflict. The basic functions and rules of management could not be performed without communication. Planning, organizing, coordinating, budgeting, monitoring, controlling, staffing, delegation, and including marketing, production, financing, staffing, human resource managing, research and development, purchasing, selling, etc. Organization, we are going to have dead entity, good for nothing and word being shut down. Communication is the backbone for organization success. Effective communication is significant for managers in the organization. So, as to perform the basic function of management, that is planning, organizing, leading and controlling. The importance of communication in an organization can be summarized as follows. Communication promotes motivation by informing and clarifying the employees about the tasks to be done, the manner they are performing, the tasks to be done, the manner they are performing the tasks and how to improve their performance if it is not up to the mark. Communication is a source of information to the organizational members for decision making process as it helps identifying and assessing alternative course of action. Communication also plays a crucial role in altering individual's attitudes. That is, a well-informed individual will have better attitude than a less informed individual. Organizational magazine, journals, meetings and various other forms of oral and written communication help in molding employees' attitudes. Communication also helps in socializing. In today's life, the only presence of another individual foster communication. As discussed earlier, communication also assists in controlling process. It helps controlling organization members' behavior in various ways. There are various levels of hierarchy and certain principles and guidelines that employees must follow in an organization. They must comply with organizational policies, perform their job role efficiently and communicate any work problem and grievance to their superiors. Thus, communication helps in controlling function of management. An effective and efficient communication system requires managerial proficiency in delivering and receiving messages. A manager must discover various barriers to communication, analyze the reason for their occurrence and take preventive steps to avoid those barriers. The communication system enables the successful transmission of idea or any other important information among individuals. The person from whom the thought originates carefully encodes his ideas into a sensible content which is now ready to be shared with everyone. 
the flow of information can be between two individuals. Let us study the various types of communication system for the smooth flow of information between two parties. Optical communication system. The word optical stands for light. As the name itself suggests, optical communication system depends on light as a medium for communication. In an optical communication system, the transmitter converts the information into an optical signal and finally the signal then reaches the recipient. Radio communication system. In the radio communication system, the information flows with the help of a radio. Radio communication system works with the aid of a transmitter and a receiver both equipped with an antenna. Duplex communication system. In duplex communication system, two equipments can communicate with each other in both the directions simultaneously and hence the name duplex each other at the same time. A time of communication system involves the sender and the receiver where the sender is in charge of sending signals and the recipients only listen to it and respond accordingly. Half duplex communication system. In half duplex communication system, both the two parties cannot communicate simultaneously. The sender has to stop sending the signals to the recipient and then only the recipient can respond. Tactical communication system. Another mode of communication is a tactical mode of communication. Basically, telecommunication defined as transmission of signals over long distances such as by telegraph, radio or television that deals with the only voice telephony. Telecommunication transport this, the signal to the sum medium which is wire pair, coaxial, fiber optics, radio. Telephone is connected to the public switch Telecommunication network for local, national, international, voice communication and personal. Computer also take on a similar role, some different element to be under quality of services. They are delay receiving before dialing tone, dial tone delay, post dial delay, time from completion of dialing the last digit of a number to the first ring back, availability of service tone, correctness of billing, reasonable cost of service to the customer, responsive to service requests, responsiveness and courtesy of operator, time to installation of new telephone by some, the additional service offered by the telephone company, mobile telephony which is primary goal of GSM was to enable mobile telephony offering the traditional bandwidth of 3.1 kilohertz. Common emergency number mandatory for all service providers with free of charge. Networks can be categorized in several different ways. One approach defines the type of network according to the geographic area of spans. Local area network LANs, for example, typically span a single home, school or small office building, whereas wide area network WANs reach across cities, states or even across the world. Computer network also differ in their design. The two basic forms of network design are called client or server and peer-to-peer. Client-to-server networks feature centralized server computers that store email, web pages, files and or applications. Communication languages used by computer devices are called network protocol. In another way to classify computer networks is by the set of protocols they support. While other types of networks are built and maintained by engineers, home networks belong to ordinary homeowners, people often with little or no technical background. Network Setup Small and Home Office Soho environments use similar technology as found in home networks. Businesses often have additional communication, data storage and security requirements that require expanding the networks in different ways. The popularity of computer networks sharply increased with the creation of the World Wide Web WWW in the 1990s, public websites, peer-to-peer -peer, P2P, file sharing systems and various other services run on internet service across the world. Many of the same network protocols like TCP or IP work in both wired and wireless networks. Networks with Ethernet cables predominated in businesses, schools and homes for several decades. 
A LAN connects network devices over a relatively short distance. A network office building, school or home usually contains a single LAN to sometimes one building will contain a few small LANs, perhaps one per room and occasionally a LAN will span a group of nearby buildings. A VAN is a geographically dispersed collection of LANs. A network device called a router connects LAN to a VAN. VAN differs from a LAN in several important ways. Residences typically employ one LAN and connects to the internet VAN via an internet service provider ISP using a broadband model. While LAN and VAN are by far the most popular network types mentioned, you may also commonly see references to these others. Wireless Local Area Network, a LAN based on Wi-Fi wireless network technology, Metropolitan Area Network, a network spanning a physical area larger than a LAN but smaller than a WAN such as a city, Campus Area Network, a network spanning multiple LANs but smaller than a MAN such as on a university or local business campus. Storage Area Network connects a service to data storage devices through a technology like fiber channel. System Area Network links high performance computers with a high speed connection in a cluster configuration, also known as cluster area network. Switches are used to connect multiple devices on the same network within a building or campus. There are two basic types of switches to choose from as part. Routers, the second valuable component of your networking basis, are used to tie multiple networks together. Depending on your business and your networking plans, you can choose from routers that include different capabilities. These can include networking basics such as Firewall, specialized software that examines incoming data and protects your business network against attacks. Virtual private network, VPN, a way to allow remote employees to safely access your network remotely. IP, phone network, combine your computer and telephone network using voice and conferencing technology to simplify and unify your communication. Network servers are computers that provide different services to a computer network such as log-on authentication, internet access, disk space, printing access, CD or DVD room access, database access. There are different types of network cables are involved in a computer network such as coaxial cable, Ethernet cable, UTP or STP and fiber optic cable. LAN cards, NIC or network adapters are the essential physical parts of any computer network. Hub or switch is a centralized device and both devices almost play the same function. Basic function of the router is to route the traffic data to its destination based on the IP address. Router is the most important network communication device in LAN and especially in WAN and the whole communication system of the internet is based on the routers. Antennas are the part of a wireless computer network for boosting the signals for adapters, access points and bridge equipments. Modem is a network device that performs two function modulation and demodulation that is it converts the digital data into the analog signals and the analog data into digital. A network gateway is a computer, software or device that is directly connected with the external network. Gateway computers are kept very secure as it can be attacked directly through the internet and in case of any security holes and weaknesses in the gateway computer. A backbone is a main line of wire such as fiber octave cable that connects two or more big networks such as ISPs. There are three different types of network management software. Prospective users can expect to find software that acts primarily as antivirus software. Software that allows users on the same network to exchange messages with one another internally is also common. Finally, there are software available based on server application. A common network management package will contain at least two of these functions, though there are different programs for different users' environments. Technology IT professionals find that a computer network not only increases security but also allows for greater ease of maintenance, troubleshooting and repair. 
common among the different types of network management software is the ability to monitor the network computers and the functionality of the wireless network. The main difference between the two types of network is the way in which they are geographically distributed. Data transmission rates are usually much higher in LAN than in WAN P. Transmission rates in LANs usually range from 0.2 megabit per second to 1 gigabit per second. Local area networks generally experience fewer data transmission errors than WAN do. Typically, bit error rates are in the range of 10 to the power of 8 to 10 to the power of 10 with LANs as opposed to 10 to the power of minus 5 to 10 to the power of minus 7 with WAN P. The most common communication links used in LANs are twisted pair coaxialed cable and fiber optics. LAN is owned by a single organization because of its limited geographic coverage. A WAN is usual formed by interconnecting multiple LANs, each of which may belong to a different organization. The overall communication costs of a LAN are usually much lower than that of a WAN. The main reason for this are lower error rates, simple routing, algorithms and lower administrative and maintenance costs. Think of a topology as a network's virtual shape of structure. This shape does not necessarily correspond to the actual physical layout of the devices on the network. Bus networks, not to be confused with the system, bus of a computer use a common backbone to connect all devices. A single cable, the backbone function as a shared communication medium that devices attach or tap into with an interface connector. In a ring network, every device has exactly two neighbors for communication purposes. Many home networks use the star topology, star network features, a central connection point called a hub node that may be a network hub, switch or router. Three topologies integrate multiple star topologies together onto a bus. In its simplest form, only hub devices connect directly to the tree bus and each hub function as a root of a tree of devices. Mesh topologies involve the concept of routes. Unlike each of the previous topologies, messages sent on a mesh network can take any of several possible paths from source to destination. Um, we are looking at network topologies today. A topology is the physical or logical layout of a network. Now there are five main network topologies. The first one we'll be looking at is our star. Now our star topology, how this works is that all devices on all devices or nodes on the network are connected to a central device called a hub or in this case a switch now if a machine whenever a machine is sending information that information is sent to the central device the switch and the switch broadcasts the information to out all other ports except the port that it received the information on what that means is that if this machine is if this machine this machine is sending information to this machine then it's sending information to the hub the hub broadcasts in the information out all the ports except the port that you received information from seeing that information was not intended for this machine or this machine these machines will discard the information and machine 2 will, will accept and do whatever it wants with the information our second topology is our bus topology. Now with the bus topology, all the devices, oops, sorry about that. Now with the bus topology, all the devices, all the nodes on the network are connected to a backbone. This is the backbone. This is the backbone. Um, the backbone has something on it called terminators. The terminators really cut 
transmission it prevents transmission from going any further this way or this way because how the bus works is that when a machine uh, transmit information on the, the backbone the information is sent right along the backbone each machine each node checks that information to see if it's actually addressed to them if it's not addressed to them they just leave it alone um, whichever information whichever node destination node that whichever node destination node that the information is intended for that node will take off the information from the backbone now if for some reason the node the, des the node that the information is intended for is not on the network for some strange reason then the information will travel right along the backbone until it hits a terminator and the information is just discarded and that's the purpose of the terminators uh, our other topology is our ring now with the ring Each device is each device on the network, each node on the network requires a special permission card called a token before they can send information. If a node does not have the token, it cannot send information on the ring network. So seeing that this machine has their token, then it can transmit whatever information it has to whichever um, machine on the network after the machine that it has, it has transmitted the information to receive the network it would the machine the sending machine will just discard the token and the token would float around the network until another node on the network picks up the token and picks up the token in order to transmit its information so the in the ring topology nodes can only transmit information on a network when they have the permission card or the token other network I'll be looking at is the mesh topology now the mesh topology is really nodes that are connected via redundant links I think that's pretty self-explanatory but um, each node has several routes or links connecting it to other nodes on the network so in case one node goes down then the there are several other backup links and last but not least we have a hybrid topology known as the tree now the tree is comprised of a bus topology a bus topology see devices connected to the bus and a tree and a star I'm sorry a star so this is a central device or the hub and each device is connected to it to the central device that's how you know that it's a star once the nodes are connected to a central device it's a star and that star is connected to the backbone and you know that devices that are connected to a backbone they are you know that topology is known as a bus yes and that's it guys tree mesh the real disadvantage that with the star is that if this if the central device goes down let's say if the hub goes down then the network will fail because the hub is really what keeps the network in place it allows the information to transmit from sender to receiver uh, this is the same thing with the bus 
topology if the backbone breaks then the entire network goes down same thing with the ring if one node on the ring goes down then it can hamper this transmission of information let's say this machine needed to send information to this machine machine B needs to send information to machine A then because this machine went down uh, the machine A could would not get the information a go around a work around is sometimes a build what is known as a double linked ring so you have one ring going this way and the other going in the opposite direction so if this when this machine goes down our machine B would have to do is activate the backup link which is this and just transmit the information through this node and then to its destination there's no real disadvantage to the mesh only thing is that the redundant, there are a lot of redundant links which means a lot of cabling which means a lot of um, expense so yeah and the tree would have the same disadvantage as the bus and the star with the bus if this if this backbone breaks then the network then the tree breaks down essentially the grapevine exemplifies the informal organizational communication network it is present in every business carrying rumors about upcoming layoffs promotions and mergers Corporations have various formal methods of communication available, including the downward network. In this pattern, the uppermost manager initiates the delivery of information, sending it down the different ranks of staff. This horizontal communication network serves as a support system for employees to help each other to succeed in the workplace. Bruch K. Berger PhD of the University of Alabama has an alternative name for a diagonal communication network, omnidirectional, because it includes everyone within the company regardless of ranking and function. Hi, I'm Sigrid. She's Sigrid. I'm Clarissa. She's Clarissa. And we are your host. Our topic is about communications and networks. Okay, this is a question. What is communication? Hmm, a kind of interaction? How about computer communication? Uh, internet, chat, texting, video calls like Skype, uh, whatsoever. Communications. Computer communication describes a process in which two or more computers or devices transfer data, instructions, and information. For successful communications, you need the following. A sending device, communications device, communications channel, communications device, and a receiving device. Some examples are this. Mainframe computers, servers, desktop computers, notebook computers, tablet PCs, smartphones, PDAs, and GPS receivers. I've got another question. What? What is wireless messaging services? <laughs> Users can send and receive wireless messages from smartphones, cellular telephones, or PDAs using three techniques. What are these three techniques? Text messaging, wireless instant messaging, and picture messaging. Hey, okay, it's my turn to ask. Okay. What is wireless internet access point? Huh? Let me give you a clue. Uh, one example of this is cyber cafes. Ooh, a cafe. Wait, wait, wait. I have a joke. Hmm, are you a coffee? Huh? Because I can sleep when I'm thinking about you. <laughs> Enough with the jokes. Har, har. Oh, well, by the way, Wireless Internet Access Point allows wireless connection to internet in public locations. One example of this is a cyber cafe. It is a coffee house that provides computers with internet access. Communication does not just happen. Hmm, effective strategy? Of course! 
Hmm. Goals. Goals. Objectives. Objectives. Things you must do. Things you must do. And crap. 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 <laughs> My teacher once asked us if we do have Wi-Fi or modem at home. Do we all need that? Of course, it's for you to be able to communicate with others. You've got to have those. Oh, sassy! Can you give me the benefits of communication? For example, letters are more formal than emails and emails are formal than conversations. Got it? Hmm, what do you think are the functions of communication? Functions? Hmm, it's for information, education, persuasion, motivation, instruction, and raising morale. Oh, I see. Now I'm satisfied. Oh, well, I think that's enough information about communication. We're actually communicating. Uh-huh. Now in the end, let us summarize what we have learned in this lecture. Organizational communication addresses how information circulates among the employees of a company. Communication plays a very important role in an organization. In fact, it is said to be the life wire of the organization. One way to categorize the different types of computer network design is by their scope or scale. Different types of physical components are involved that builds a LAN or WAN computer networks. Networks are broadly classified into two types, local area network LANs and white area network WANs.